today's show by talking about a couple of NFL quarterbacks. First one up, Phillip Rivers is, whenever he retires, he has his next job already lined up. Now, Drew Brees, we talked about that a couple of weeks ago. He has already signed on to be a broadcaster for NBC, right? So we've got that done. Now, we don't know when he's going to retire. It could be this coming year. It could be the year after that, whatever. We don't know anything about when Phillip Rivers is going to retire either. He's got a one-year deal with the Colts. He's 38 years old. He could play, you know, another season after that. He could play. Monster X Gaming said, will the Jaguars tank? Hey, stick around for just a minute. Um, We're going to get there. We're going to get there. I promise. Uh, But as far as this goes, we don't know when Phillip Rivers is going to retire. He could come out with the Colts and have a magnificent season and not want to be done playing. However, he is now going to be a high school football coach for uh, a school in Fairhope, Alabama. Uh, let me find the name of the school here. Um, but Fairhope is is right outside of Mobile. He's an Alabama kid. Um, it is St. Michael Catholic High School. So the school announced in the press conference on Friday that Rivers is going to be their next head football coach whenever he retires from the NFL. Uh, <laughs> Joseph Gomez said Rivers has got like 25 kids. He's never going to retire. He's uh, How many does he have? He's got... <laughs> My strikes game said nine. he's got 32 kids. Uh, I, think he, I do think he has nine. <laughs> and as soon, no, I'm not going to get into that, but yeah, I think, okay. Yeah. Uh, ben asked, are you guys going to talk about the uh, the Kansas basketball violations? Not today. I'm going to spend the weekend going over everything. They did release the stuff yesterday, and it's long. It's a 91-page document. I tried to get through some of it last night. I got a lot of stuff going on here at the house. <laughs> Obviously, you can see with my bed and my mattress and everything over there. Chris's bunch came in, did my flooring for me this morning. I had to do a lot of stuff to prep for that last night. So, um, let's see. Let, let me let me try and get caught up on these. Uh, Minshew looks like Fitzpatrick. Both are going to win. Most mock drafts in 2021 have the Jaguars at number one. Blah, blah, blah. Look, look, look. We're going to get to the Jags. But as far as Phillip Rivers, I have never heard of this before. Uh, where somebody has hired somebody to be their coach, but he can't even coach yet because you don't know when he's coming to you. I, explain this to me, Chris. Like I, I understand the 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 spectacle of having a former NFL, probably an NFL Hall of Famer. Tyrone said, "Hey guys, I gotta go. Nice to listen to you. We appreciate you. Thank you for hopping in, brother." Um, I I don't understand this. Like, do you just have a coach on staff that's just going to get you through the next couple of years? Like, you're not worried about winning the next couple of years? Are we I mean, certain he's going to be the head coach? Yeah. that's a, He's going to be the head coach. Rivers will be named the head coach at St. Michael Catholic High School in Fairhope, Alabama, upon his retirement from the NFL, the school announced in a press conference on Friday. Now, Rivers' dad spent 25 years as a high school football coach, including a 15-year stint at Alabama's Decatur High School. But there's no ties to this school. But why? I mean, and I understand it's just a high school. I get that. But high school football in Alabama, along with basically anywhere in the South, but do is we a know that deal. this school is that kind of school? No, we don't know. I don't because know because I, I I will tell you that I helped a buddy coach high school basketball at private schools in Mississippi, and the whole school only had like twelve boys in it as a whole high school. Okay. The basketball team was made up of seven people. The football team was made up of all twelve boys in the school. That's you know what my my wife taught at a private school in Mobile that was kind of the same thing. So, so I, maybe I'm going to bet this is not a big school. I'm going to bet this is a small school. And McKinnon, and McKinnon my brought buddy up an interesting dropped point. out of college to help coach at this place. Okay, so it's not like they and he got a head coaching job at the, as the basketball. Yeah. McKinnon said more than likely to almost state championships. Uh, McKinnon said more than likely they have a coach that's about to retire and can wait a couple of years to do so. That that may be that could be something. It but yeah. it could just be a really small school too. Yeah, it, and it, it, we it, think it, private school and we think big, expensive, lush, whatever. It might not be that. No, it might I mean, be a school where he just wants to. He likes the area. Yeah, Fair Hope is awesome. It's tiny. But it's awesome. Fair Hope is phenomenal, man. It, that place is so nice. Um, Monster X Gaming said, I want NHL back now because their playoffs are the best, in my opinion. Uh, oh, yeah. You're well, not going to get any argument here. No, we, we love the Stanley Cup playoffs. Like, I'm, 
I don't watch any other hockey other than the playoffs. Oh, I, I watch a lot and I miss it. Yeah, I can uh, I can believe that. Let's uh, let's close out with this. We've uh, I told you we were going to get in under an hour today. We're uh, we're currently at fifty minutes, so <laughs> oh, we're not going to get in under an hour. But we'll roll through. We will definitely do that. Um, 